My name is Ann Norick and I am a postdoctoral research associate here at Fermilab. I work on an experiment called NOVA, which is a neutrino oscillation experiment based here at Fermilab with a near detector about 100 meters underground and uh, the far detector way up in Ash River, Minnesota, almost to the border of Canada. On NOVA, one of my roles is I'm a run coordinator, so I help keep keep NOVA running and keep our shifters working and our detectors operating. We want to make sure that any neutrinos that they're sending towards us, we're able to catch so our, our detector is, is uh, in tip-top shape. I also work on the NOVA test beam experiment where we're taking a tiny version of NOVA and we're putting it in a beam of charged particles. And uh, there's some interesting stuff you can do with that. First, it helps you calibrate your detector. It helps you understand the properties of your detector. You can also do interesting studies when you know you have a, um, a proton of a specific energy. You can really understand what that looks like in your detector. Uh, if you want to see an electron, your electron has to travel through space, through your detector, in order for you to actually be able to say, ha ha, yes, there was an electron. Here at Fermilab, we use a beam. Um, so our fantastic accelerator division gets a bunch of protons going really, really fast, 120 GeV, almost the speed of light. And then they collide them with a carbon target for the, for the beam line that we use. Um, and so it's about a meter long. Um, and it looks like a giant pack of Pez. But we point that beam down at a three degree angle through the Earth, so it travels underneath Wisconsin, up to northern Minnesota. The beam was originally built for the MINOS experiment, which is in Sudan, Minnesota, and is very deep underground, but now NOVA takes advantage of, of this beam as well. So one of the advantages of neutrinos is that they don't like to interact. I mean, it's both an advantage and a disadvantage because we have to have very big detectors and a lot of neutrinos in order to be able to do this physics, but it means you don't have to build a tunnel under Wisconsin. You can just shoot your beam straight through the earth and most of your neutrinos will not, will not interact. I think the best part of my job is when I get to share what we do with, with the public. That's kind of my, my favorite thing to do. Um, we have a lot of students that come through here and I like to be able to give underground tours and to talk to them about what they're interested in and answer their sorts of questions. Um, I also really like coding. Uh, we write a lot of code, uh, write a lot of code or a lot of analysis code um, here, and that's really fun. It's a puzzle. When I'm not doing physics, I uh, play a lot of music. I um, play the French horn in the Fermi Community Orchestra and in the Batavia Community Band, which are both a lot of fun. Um, I also play music with with friends. Um, I'm trying to learn the ukulele, although I'm, this is my first stringed instrument, so I'm not very good. I am uh, training for a half marathon. I like to travel. I like to, I like to read <laughs> a lot. Um, and I have a dog that I like to play with. <laughs>